Hello, my name is Shahid Azam. I'm an associate professor in the Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science at the University of Regina. Um, we, in, in the city of Regina, we have expansive soils uh, that undergo swelling and compressibility as a function of uh, uh, seasonal variations and climatic conditions. Uh, that has a serious uh, bearing on all of the in infrastructure that is uh, constructed in, on, or with these uh, type of materials. For example, the uh, annual repair cost uh, that the city of Regina has to bear uh, for the water main uh, system uh, in the city is $2 million. So most of the infrastructure is in that top two to three meter layer of the soil that has uh, two main features. First, it is in direct contact with the atmosphere, so it is affecting all uh, uh, the variations uh, from summer to winter and so on. And secondly, it has hairline cracks or fissures. The main objective of our research is uh, to capture the effect of both weather conditions as well as vertical hairline cracks uh, uh, in the volume change measurements uh, that we want to do. So uh, in the labs, we want to improve our design by doing improved uh, types of testing that you will see. So to investigate the volume change behavior of Regina clay, uh, we have this uh, piece of equipment here that is fabricated, designed, and calibrated here at the UFR. It's funded by the Canada Foundation for Innovation. What it is is basically a large scale uh, <clears throat> mode in which we, 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 we put the uh, expensive Regina clay sample and uh, put water in the outer mode here to uh, simulate the precipitation conditions, the rainfall, and then after the uh, material swells in response to absorbing that water, uh, which is similar to exerting pressure under your basement, for example, we load it using that, uh, that frame. So testing a Regina clay sample in, in the large scale mode will give us an improved understanding of the volume change behavior of the soil. Hello, my name is Maki Ito. I'm a PhD candidate in the Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science. Today, I'm going to talk about what we actually do in the laboratory. Um, this equipment is called pressure plate extractor. Um, we can apply pressure created by this air compressor onto this uh, soil samples. Soil samples are initially fully uh, wetted and we put whole thing into this pressure vessel and I shut the lid on and tightly seal and we apply such uh, pressure. And um, what we are doing here is actually simulating the effect of atmosphere change, and such as precipitation and evaporation. And while we are applying this um, pressure, different pressure, we can see the different soil behaviors, such as soil shrinkage and swelling. Ultimately, uh, we are going to relate that soil behavior to our common uh, problems happening in Regina, such as basement wall cracks and load heavings. Hi, my name is Rami Sadildin, um, PhD candidate in the Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science. Uh, actually, today I will introduce the traditional way of calculation, the swelling properties of the uh, expensive soils. Uh, at the first, we um, prepared the sample in this steel ring, and then we put the, um, the sample with the steel ring in the mold, and then we fix it uh, in the mold. After that, we apply uh, very basic loads in, on the soil sample. Um, then we put water all around the sample to simulate the um, uh, wetting um, of the soil in the winter times. Uh, after uh, wetting the sample, the soil uh, will swell and generate a swelling pressure um, that we can measure by applying a very basic or little loads in this small container. Um, by this way, we can uh, evaluate the swelling uh, pressure that generates on the basements and foundations in Regina.